Any great cocktail connoisseur will tell you there are three key elements to a delicious drink. The basics, ice, glass, stuff like that. The wow factor, alcohol, and the presentation, herb leaves, lime wedge, olive pick. Okay, so now let's take that analogy and relate it to an Instagram post because this concoction applies to more places than a tabletop bar of a restaurant. The basics, scroll stopping caption, the wow factor, drag worthy images, and the presentation, relevant and discoverable hashtags. It's true that a cocktail can be perfectly drinkable without any of this stuff, herbs, lives, olives, and an Instagram post can be seen without using any hashtags. But consider the possibilities of adding that extra element of presentation. Herbs awaken the senses, lime adds some pucker, olives double as a snack. Hashtags allow Instagram content to become searchable, not only by you and your followers, but by anyone, and that's massive. So why wouldn't you pour some hashtags into your post and shake it up a bit? That pun, that pun was absolutely intended. Okay, the following guide, what I'm gonna walk you through is gonna explain the four hashtag ingredients to a foolproof hashtag strategy. Searchable terms, location searches, geographic searches, and industry searches. Mix these hashtags into your Instagram cocktail and you'll ensure top-notch presentation and your account will be discovered. All aboard, let's go. Let's get started with searchable terms. This will comprise the majority of the hashtags you use. In order to understand what your searchable terms are, because they are different for everybody, you must put yourself in the shoes of your ideal client, your dream customer. What is she searching for? What does he need help finding? What are they interested in seeing more on Instagram? Put yourself in their shoes. So for example, if I was a real estate agent, I might, not, might use a hashtag new build or hashtag apartment for sale. If I was an interior designer, I would maybe use hashtag minimalist, hashtag decor ideas. Now, if I was a life coach, searchable terms could be hashtag personal development, hashtag positive outlook, or hashtag self love. These are ideas to get you going. Now let's talk about location searches. This is for people searching for things, people, photos specific to a certain location. These are especially powerful to get discovered in your local area. So if I was a chef, I would hashtag the name of a restaurant, hashtag Cafe Gratitude, or perhaps where you're located, Cafe Gratitude Newport Beach. If you're an artist, where can people find your work? Hashtag Hauserworth Gallery. If you're a musician, the event location where you're performing next. Hashtag The Grove LA. Are you guys kind of still following a little bit of patterns here? That was location searches. Now let's get into geographic searches. This search term is for people looking for businesses based on a city or a state. Now this can get a little bit tricky because people search for location options in a lot of different ways. So use a mix of geographic references to cover all of your bases. So I'm kind of referring to cities like New York City, Los Angeles, could be NYC, could be LA. So for a real estate agent, for listings in New York City, you can use a mix of geographic references due to city abbreviations like hashtag NYC real estate or hashtag New York City real estate. Those are specific. And then you have state specific like hashtag NY real estate for New York. So also apply the same geographic searches to variations of commonly used real estate terms like home, homes, or house, or for sale, or homes for sale. Kind of put yourself in like the geographic sense of what is somebody looking for specific to a city or state. Now let's get into industry searches. These are fun. I, these are gonna be search terms that are specifically related to your industry. So they're used by like your peers or your counterparts. These search terms tend to be searched by other professionals within your industry. So why would you use them? Well, hashtagging within your industry is a great way to get noticed, featured, or create sponsorships or collaborations or referrals. So let's get into a couple examples. Industry hashtags could be anything from like groups that you're part of, like hashtag social curator, Memberships you have that are industry specific, like hashtag APA member, or even clubs that are industry related, like hashtag Rotary International. Okay, so now it's time to pull it all together. 
I created a quick checklist and video tutorial to ensure you're following this hashtag cocktail recipe. You can download it for free at jasminestar.com forward slash hashtag strategy. I can't wait to raise a glass and toast to your future success soon. So cheers, friend.